Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever time it might be for you. My name is Alepsi, and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build 14th century style. Today we're going to be working on a peasant's home. This is going to be for my ultimate decades challenge. This is for my main family, the MacDoos. And they're going to be living here. They're going to be uh, animal farmers. So they're going to have sheep and goat. I haven't played with the sheep and goat yet. So I think that's going to be a fun experience. Uh, this style of house that we're making is known as a crux house. I believe is how you say it. Um, they were primi primarily made in uh, England, I believe. I wanted to do a upstairs loft area. However, I did not want to add a secondary level, so I decided to go with a platform and we're going to put some uh, beds up there because they were not very, uh, they didn't have a lot of money, so they wouldn't have been able to afford walls and that sort of thing. However, um, if you do look into a crux house, the animals also used to live in there with the family. Um, but with the way the Sims is and the way it works, um, for items and everything like that, I just decided to put them in their own separate little thing, which you'll see here shortly. These braces that I'm adding are actually from the Organic by House of Harlots, Hey Harry, and Felix Andre Sims. Um, there's a part one and a part two. I found mine on Curse Forge. So these are part of that collection. I love them. They're awesome. So I decided to use them and I delete the ceiling to make it more realistic. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go underneath and we're going to add in some just normal Sims 4 beams. Um, and we do some hardwood floors throughout. I would have liked to do dirt, but something about deleting the floor caused some issues. You see me here trying to do it. I can't exactly remember now what the issue was, but it created some sort of issue. I don't know if it was deleting the ceiling or what was going on. Um, here we are. We're going to start putting some beams in and we're just going to throw them kind of everywhere. <laughs> um, they're going to be all throughout also lighting because I can't see. <laughs> it's kind of important to be able to see what you're doing. Um, and I wanted to line up the beams underneath the cross beams, uh, so that it seems more realistic. It would seem a little silly to have a beam like not underneath the cross beam. I think that's what they're called. Who knows? Something like that. Anyway, we're going to try and put in a fireplace. Um, it's, it wasn't exactly going in over there. So I put it on the other side. And uh, back then they didn't really have chimneys. Um, they just breathed in the smoke. So I didn't make a chimney. <laughs> they're just going to breathe in the smoke. They're, they're really living the uh, living the good life. I keep trying to use these counters, but I the texture I'm just not all about. So I swap it out for this hutch countertop thing, which I think is so cool because it's got the open shelf so I can add stuff up above, which I do a little bit later. Um, here, I went through the catalog and just pulled everything. So it was like 30 minutes of footage of me just like looking through the catalog for items. So I cut it out, but that's what happened. That's how everything got here. I just started pulling everything that I wanted out. Um, these rugs are amazing. They're with the horse ranch uh, pack and I love them because I don't have to download any CC for it. Um, they're amazing. They work really well in medieval builds because they would have very much used hay or reeds or just whatever to insulate the floor and um, help keep you warm. You know, you got to use what you got back in the day. Um, we're going to make the table a bit longer. I felt that table was a bit short. This is by Lore, L-O-R-E-E -E, or L-O-R-R-E-E. -E. And I found these on the Ye Medieval, um, the Sims resource in the Ye Medieval section. She's got like a whole kitchen pack thing. And I like the textures on them and I think they're really pretty. So I end up using a lot of their stuff, just adding in a little bench underneath the tapestry. Um, I really don't add too much in the house. There's like some clutter and we're going to get some clutter on the beams here in a minute, but I wanted to try and keep it simple. You know, they were peasants. They didn't have a lot of money, so they're not going to have 
all this luxurious stuff around, right? They'll have a broom, they'll have a couple beds, they'll have some mainly food items around. So I didn't want to give them too many creature comforts, aka a bathroom. <laughs> um, they're going to have to be going to a bathhouse, which will be another build I'm excited to do. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to give them too much, too much stuff. So they've got a chamber pot and then here we are just hanging some um, like herbs and stuff that they would have dried or flowers that they would have dried across those beams, some clothing that maybe they would have hung up to dry inside and a cage because why the heck not? Maybe one day they put a chicken in there because they're going to eat it the next day. I don't know. <laughs> Beats me. I was a little morbid. Sorry, sorry. Uh, and here we are just throwing in some food items to make it look medieval. Now, I was looking up a bunch of food items as to what they would have eaten back in the day, and it would have been bread and ale for breakfast. Yum. And then a nice, hearty, warm lunch. Um, very, like, that was their warm meal. And then for dinner, it would have been bread and cheese. Again, I say yum. <laughs> I actually really like bread and cheese. So I see absolutely nothing wrong with that for dinner. Um, and that would, would have been what they ate. You have to think they didn't have... Yes, they had candlelight um, back in the day and a fireplace maybe. But they couldn't really see a whole lot. So, you know, they just kept it simple for breakfast and dinner, you know. Just keep it simple with the bread and cheese and ale. And uh, throwing in some cobwebs because... Why not? And I threw in a mouse hole under the stairs, which my test sim did not like too much. She kept waking up. A broken down cart. So maybe they had a cart at one point and it broke and they couldn't fix it. So now it's just rotting on the property. Um, I did swap out the windows and then I decided I didn't like them. So I put them back to the other windows. I was hoping those ones would work. I just, I couldn't make them work. And then we're going to go through, we do some pathing. Um, and this is where we're going to start building the animal shed. Now, I originally built this uh, for pigs because um, I have a mod by Brazen Lotus uh, for the pigs. And the little barn you're seeing on the ground is for Lot 50. No, sorry. It is um, free range by Lot 51, which means you don't have to have the cottage living barn for the cow or the llamas. Um, you could just put that down and I believe you could have as many like cows and llamas as you want. Um, you don't even have to place like one per cow. It's literally just, you place it once and you're done. So I was going to try and do that with the pigs because pigs were very popular back then. Uh, they were used a lot for foraging and for cleanup and they kept them until winter and then they would kill them and salt the meat so that they would have pig meat to eat through winter. Um, and they weren't feeding the animal through winter. So we were going to do that. However, um, the Lot 51 Free Range uh, did not recognize the Brazen Lotus Wooly Pig. So, which I think was actually made by someone else. But, um, so it wouldn't have worked. I kept trying to make it work. And it, it doesn't recognize it. So I shifted gears and we're going to do Sheep, which was also very big back then for the wool. Um, and goats for the milk. I wanted to do just sheep for the milk and the wool, but turns out you need the goats for milk. <laughs> so I did, I did that. Um, and here we are just adding some landscaping. The landscaping is going to be um, that of the cottage living world because I do want it to match the world we're in. So I just went through, I, I you can see I um, put the tag for cottage living. I can't word right now, sorry. <laughs> Wording is hard. And then I go through and just change the color of the beams, add in a couple of trees. Um, I add in a couple of trees off lot as well. And if you have the Twisted Mexi tool mod, you can do that. Um, found that super handy. I liked it. Um, and this is gonna be the garden area. Now they're not gonna garden all their food. They're gonna buy some of their food because I kind of picture how that would be back in the day is like they wouldn't make everything. However, I do believe they would grow like wheat for their bread and for their animals to eat or barley. Um, and then like a lot of their main like veggies and stuff. 
Um, we might end up growing some, or I might try and have another sim in the town grow them, and we buy them, or we trade uh, that way. It might create like an interesting dynamic. This pond does not last long. I decided I don't like it, so I end up getting rid of it. <laughs> and we put, I believe, a well in its place, which I like a lot better. Also, this pathing path reminded me of a peace sign, so I was trying to fix it so it didn't look like a peace sign. Um, I don't know. To me, that's just like the vibe it's giving. <laughs> and I was like, what is it? What? And so I tried using some pathing path from Horse Ranch. I'm not really digging it too much. Like it is working, but it's not really working. I don't know. Uh, we end up getting rid of it and I believe deleting a lot of this pathing path and kind of trying something else um, in its place. Yeah, I try and lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm like, eh, maybe we'll just get rid of this. <laughs> maybe we'll just get rid of that. <laughs> I don't know, guys. If anyone has any tips on... Uh, I have no clue why I did that. I thought maybe adding rocks in would be a good idea. And it was not. Um, any ideas on how to do better terrain? I'm, I'm hoping with the more I do it, the better it'll get. But that's just kind of like any tips or advice. Just uh, throw those in the comments down below. But yeah, we throw the well in its place and then I move the tree and the grass over using the tool mod, which makes it really easy. I sure did appreciate the fact that I could just click on all of it and move it over all at once instead of having to do it one by one. Um, that is a beehive. I cannot remember who it's by, um, but it comes with like a whole honey type set like you have a honey press and all this other stuff I believe it was on a patreon but um it's unlocked now it's like not behind a paywall anymore so I wish I could remember the creator I'll have to look it up for you guys I forgot to look it up before I started the video my bad um and here we go we're gonna add in some trees um that one's huge <laughs> So I added in some trees. You can tell we're a lot closer to the forest now, um, which makes me happier. And then I decided that I it was looking kind of plain and I wanted to figure out a way to make it look a little bit more interesting. So we added the roofing over the door and then we end up moving the fireplace and the barrel, which is their trash can, a little bit more um, underneath kind of like the roofing, like their wood would have been kept dry, kind of a thing and that wood piles by brazen lotus i have a lot of stuff by brazen lotus um and then i added in beams too to help make it look a little bit better i'm gonna throw in some screenshots here for you at the end i hope you guys do enjoy and uh don't forget to like subscribe leave some comments down below and next week's build is going to be a witches slash herbalist hut. And I am so very excited. I had a great time um, with this build. And honestly, with, with all the builds I've done so far, I've had a lot of fun. So um, yeah, you guys enjoy the screenshots and I'll see you next week. <laughs>